Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nina and this is your pick a card to see what is coming in as a major blessing in your life. So what's your next big blessing? So we have three piles as usual in front of us. I want you to cast your gaze on the cards and see which one is calling out to you. And we have as options rose quartz, we have selenite and we have green aventurine. So pick the pile that you're feeling most drawn to and I will see you in your timestamps. Hi group 1, for those of you who have chosen this rose quartz, let's take a look at your reading. Just leave that there. Okay, so we have the coffin. We have tree, grounding. A new romantic cycle begins. We have throat chakra or fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is kind of like the judgment card in tarot. That's what it reminds me of, Archangel Gabriel with his trumpet. We have Y. Okay. We have teamwork, I'm not going to read the whole thing, I'm just reading this intuitively. We have the sing of healing, okay, nice. The golden stars. So the stars are lining up for the perfect opportunity now, beautiful. Okay, let's leave that there and see what tarot is suggesting. The six of wands, wow, starting on a great note. Eight of cups. Four of wands. Okay. The nine of pentacles. Amazing. And lastly, we have six of cups. Okay. Gonna leave this here. All right. So I'm getting lots of things actually for you. Okay, but there are two main themes here. Is what I'm seeing. One is that of uh, a huge blessing of healing. Okay, and this is coming perhaps after a period of a lot of transformation, having to also perhaps go through some sacrifices. Is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, maybe you were in a situation in which you felt constricted, in which you felt, you know, like your energy was dampened. You, I'm strongly feeling like this is a place, okay, or a surrounding of uh, people, okay, a situation in which, uh, which really affected your day-to-day -day life, okay. And for many of you, I feel like there's movement away from that situation or that place or their group of people okay there is this strong emphasis here on movement okay which i'm getting with the eight of cups and next to that we have the four of wands which is all about home foundation your roots um your safety security stability or what affects that okay and family as well and we have grounding there with tree which is again reminding me of the same things in life you know uh, our roots in life our foundations and that is uh, where this major blessing is taking place or it's coming in as in it's affecting your the way you live okay your very foundation in life so it could have a lot to do with your home with your family but I am seeing that for some of you, you're either moving back to your home, okay, your family home, or you may be leaving it behind and moving into a new home, okay, and into a phase perhaps also of financial independence, okay. That's happen happening irrespective of whether you're moving or not, okay. So that's one huge, huge blessing for you. Uh, there's a lot of 
you know safety security kind of vibe here and theme here and you have the six of wands and the nine of pentacles so this is for me you celebrating life celebrating having overcome a lot of challenges okay these are yes they're success they're victory cards and they signify you know the fruits of your labor and luxury and leisure and all of that but that's coming after a period of struggle i feel okay so it's not like it's all falling into your lap no this is not like that okay but this is hard earned recognition success you know you perhaps being in the spotlight in some way people finally noticing your hard work whether at work or you know in your personal life and you feeling proud of how far you've come and feeling proud of everything you've uh, put in okay for these changes to happen so it's again i want to emphasize it's not just falling into your lap this is a blessing that's coming after a tedious time okay and you will finally be able to lay your roots lay your foundation in a new phase or in a new place for many of you okay and i do see also that there are new connections coming in into your life which are bringing a, a lot of restoration of balance harmony and peace okay that's what you've been craving for as well i feel a sense of healing a sense of peace and calm and balance and harmony okay we have new moon in libra which is all about again relationships soul contracts and other contracts partnerships and with the six of cups we've got two sixes here there's the sense of uh balance coming back into your life into your relationships and if even if you are perhaps walking away from certain connections there are new connections coming into your life which are actually based on you know that deep soul bond deep soul connection perhaps going way back to your past lives even okay so that's an amazing blessing also to have and i feel like some of you could be even uh, attracting a soulmate into your life okay someone who uh, is a bit of a mystery right now maybe you haven't come across them yet but uh, i do see like things will start developing on that front in especially in terms of relationships okay and we have the why card there and this is telling me that finally you'll be able to understand why certain things worked out why certain things didn't work out and you know why certain things had to take place maybe they were painful and hurtful for you to reach this place okay where you're proud of your journey you're proud of how far you've come and you feel accomplished you feel fulfilled is what i'm getting okay that's a huge blessing again you worked for this okay and with the fifth chakra archangel gabriel card there there is an emphasis here on communication on throat chakra healing so you'll be able to stand up for yourself more you'll be able to voice your opinions voice your thoughts and also have a a sort of clear flow okay of um your authentic self okay if that makes sense like a lot of times we feel like uh we can't stand up for for ourselves or we can't be our authentic self because we're surrounded by people who don't understand us but when new connections come into our place into our life uh we get that courage to be our true selves and that is what i feel is one of the blessings coming into your life okay and also with the team work card there there are new supportive connections new collaborations coming your way and for some of you i feel like you will be even in the spotlight in some way in like you might be you know online putting yourself out there publishing writing communicating in some way and maybe the success this recognition or this career has a lot to do with uh mentoring teaching you know publishing something like that or it's some sort of creative field 
which involves a lot of communication or you know expression self expression okay so those are your major blessings it's not just one i feel like this is two folds it's affecting both your relationships and your personal life in the sense that you will see a lot more peace and harmony and healing in your life now and the second thing is that you will feel a lot more secure especially financially and career wise okay so that's beautiful i hope you enjoyed your reading and i'm wishing you all the very best group 1 uh let me know if this resonates with you and leave me a comment down below i'll see you again later bye bye hi group 2 for those of you who've chosen this selenite let's take a look at your reading So we have the woman, okay? You could be this woman, or she could be playing an important part, uh, some significant part in this development of this new blessing. Okay, we have taken the self. We have fairies, earth magic. Wow, you've got a lot of fae energy here. <laughs> Look how similar these two cards are. This is a fae deck but this is not just a fae deck it's a earthy deck so nice to see that together we got the seed number 25 okay we got thinker number 44 oops we have balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces we have boundless love which i also see as a piscean energy i'm reading this intuitively so i'm not going to read the whole card then we have collective consciousness oh my god are you a piscean this this has a lot to do with piscean energy you may be feeling overwhelmed by all of the energetic shifts it's time for you to focus on peace and love for all and there there's some strong red and crown chakra energy here root as well as crown chakra okay so pisces this is very piscean for me and uh boundless love as well let's see what tarot suggests we've got the king of cups again cancer pisces scorpio the sun beautiful Eight of Pentacles, the Hangman, which is a Pisces card. So I won't be surprised if you are a Pisces, or you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, or you may be dealing with a Piscean. Ten of Pentacles, nice. Okay. Firstly, your tarot cards are super super positive, okay? Especially when it comes to work, career, your foundation, security in life. Uh we've got the 8 of pentacles as well as the 10 of pentacles here. So there's a lot of emphasis here on building a solid future for yourself, feeling secure, feeling happy, feeling one, okay? That's also the energy of the 10 of pentacles because it's not just happiness and security for yourself but it's something that you could pass on one generation after the other and it could also have uh it's something that you share as well with uh your near and dear ones okay whether that's your blood family or adopted family or whatever okay now there's a twofold um blessing here kind of like we got for group number 1 as well one is that there's a huge uh awakening or you could say a deepening of your connection to source to the divine and you having a lot of access to like cosmic knowledge you could say spirituality and this deep in a spiritual wisdom that is um 
that's really going to help you in all areas of your life okay that's what i'm st strongly feeling we have the sun and the hangman here these are both cards which to me speak about our connection to source the sun is source energy it's our life force right and the hangman is you surrendering to the divine and experiencing this boundless love which is divine love okay which has no form nothing and it it's um it's a sign also of awakening of deep spiritual wisdom and also with this earth magic uh, you know fey magic and taking the self i definitely feel like you're going to get a lot of ideas on you know your purpose in life what you're really meant to do here why you're here or you know some very very deep spiritual truths it's like you're unlocking this sort of um treasure okay of deep spiritual wisdom that's going to help you connect more deeply not just to yourself but also to the divine okay and you have thinker here as well so both of these cards suggest that you're going to get a lot of brilliant ideas and these are perhaps you know these are not like your everyday ideas these are like ideas that you seemingly get out of the blue and you're like wow i saw this in my dream and uh, um i got this idea to maybe write a book or you know do something really out of the blue and uh, i'm feeling really motivated i'm feeling really uh, called to do that okay that is what you need to also work on perhaps okay but the blessing here is that you're overcoming a lot of self sabotage you're trusting more in the divine and you're getting more opportunities which are going to uh help you uh secure a bright future for yourself okay especially in terms of career finances and all of that so many of you feel like you're perhaps doing some kind of a work okay either you're getting an opportunity to do that or you're initiating it yourself because of all of these wonderful ideas that you're getting and uh, pisces is also about you know like yeah collective consciousness so you have very much in tune okay your intuition is off the charts firstly um but what i was saying was that you're either getting an opportunity which is on the lines of something that is really connected to your purpose in life or you're initiating it yourself based on these ideas that you're getting from source from the divine from your higher self okay and there's a huge shift also in your own perspective in which your um you're trusting the universe you're trusting trusting the divine to show you the way okay and i'm seeing that it's bringing to you a lot of the sense of liberation or freedom um you know that that phrase let go and let god that's what you're doing it's like you're being directed to your path ahead or to your destination or to you know your purpose your perfect self expression whatever you want to call it directly through source okay and that takes a lot of trust and you're exhibiting that trust is what i see okay there are i feel a lot of improvements happening on the home front as well if you have maybe struggle there if you have perhaps you know experienced disharmony in connections and relationships i feel like there's a lot of that balancing of emotions feeling emotionally secure and perhaps you're also um attracting somebody in your life who not necessarily a romantic connection but it could be but i feel like you're attracting somebody in your life who offers this emotional wisdom security support sensitivity uh compassion and someone who's highly emotionally intelligent okay and that's not um something that 
many people possess okay so i feel like this person whoever's entering your life is uh if it is a soulmate connection in a romantic sense this could go a really long way and it could very well be pisces if you're not a piscean because that's like all over your reading okay and where perhaps previously you felt uh cheated you felt um you know like um there's this uh energy of i don't know if i can even trust people anymore because i felt let down i felt disappointed i feel like you're changing your perspective now and you're opening up more to the idea of being vulnerable in connections again and trusting people again why because you're trusting yourself you're trusting the divine so these are like big blessings i feel both in terms of relationships as well as your work life and for many of you these are intertwined in the sense that um you may you may even be doing some kind of work which is very spiritual in nature which has um uh, could be a spiritual business it could be you know teaching about spirituality it could be classes or it could be anything okay uh, it could be something to do with communicating or uh, healing okay but i am getting that it has a it's like you're applying your spiritual knowledge and wisdom in a very practical sense okay um so it could be a business very well for many of you for others of you your spiritual practices and your connection to the d- divine have a direct highly positive impact on your career in a big way and on your um long term security and safety okay let me see if there are any other messages that i'm getting hmm with the woman and the thinker there um i too feel like there are and in fact hate in the self because i see that as a very air energy and lots of lots of ideas and that's a number 44 again which is an angel number <laughs> god you're a highly spiritually gifted and uh, evolved person i would say and definitely someone who's quite sensitive and empathic but this is a phase in which there's a lot of um i would say a lot of trust and connection uh to the divine which is paying off in a big big way okay and yeah for a lot of you this is some work that is directly connected to spirituality and uh, healing and uh, if that's not the case then you're getting a lot of your ideas very practical ideas for your growth um from the divine from your connection to source okay that's a big blessing coming into your life make a note of those ideas because i feel like you're getting a lot of these ideas and the other thing is that you're opening up on an emotional level now and uh, there's a deepening of connections and if you're single especially you're opening up now to the idea of being vulnerable in a connection again and trusting okay so that self sabotaging energy is what's leaving your life as well so those are your blessings group number 2 i hope this helps and i hope it brought you some clarity i'm wishing you all the best let me know in the comment section how you feel about this reading and as you can later bye bye Hi group 3 for those of you who have chosen this green aventurine let's take a look at your reading So firstly we have the scythe okay so there's something happening quite all of a sudden and there's a harvest as well it's a number 10 as well let's see all the cards Milky Way perspective okay we have happy family number 4 the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini okay
Penelope Dream Weaver. Wow, this is beautiful. That's a number 28, which is again 10. We've got the tribe. Okay. All right. We have commitment. I'm not going to read the whole card. I'm just um, reading this intuitively. Oh, wow. So there's a huge emphasis here on home foundation. We have the tribe here, which shows this hut and these two giraffes, the mama giraffe and the baby giraffe. And uh, we have the home here. And it's like God's hand coming out of uh, the sky. Okay, pulling that away, the home foundation. You've got the side, the happy family, which again has to do with the home family. Um, this is interesting. You've got stretch yourself. It's time to move past your comfort zone and into the unknown. Wow. I love how this is just all coming together. But I'm just going to... Um, let's place this here. And place this here. And let's see your tarot cards. So we have the Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. Okay. Judgment. And lastly, the Chariot. Okay. So there's one message here which is really, really similar to the first group. Maybe you, maybe you were drawn to the first group as well. One major change or a blessing, it could be even a blessing in disguise for some of you because it could be a difficult change um, that is coming your way, is that for many of you, you are moving, okay? You are moving out of your family home or there's somebody who is moving out. There's some big change happening in your home foundation family situation okay and there's a big decision here to make with the judgment card there and the chariot next to it i'm seeing this more as a liberation you breaking barriers and you feeling free feeling triumphant and the chariot is a victory card but it is you know a victory over the mind over ourself as well over things that hold us back okay which is why we have the the light and shadow or um yeah the light and dark horses here okay which is speaking about our connection to the divine as well as you know maintaining that sense of balance between um our spiritual self and our earthly self and our higher self and our ego self okay and I know this is sounding quite esoteric, but I do feel like it has a major, major impact on your life in a personal way, okay? This change is happening for you. Um, I feel like you've been wanting this, okay? There's a shift happening in perhaps your living circumstances or something that directly affects your family or within your family, okay? And the six of pentacles here could be like a windfall or it could be like a deal being um, being struck. Okay, it could be that some of you who've been wanting to maybe sell your house for a while uh, were not getting any suitors or anything and any takers. And now suddenly you um, make the deal. Okay, and you're ready to move on. You're ready to move into a new life and move to a new place perhaps okay because i am getting strong travel vibes from the page of wands and the chariot and this whole theme here about home about family about the the scythe as well you know harvest something is being struck out of your life almost all um out of the blue but it's not out of the blue because i feel like you have been wanting this and somewhere you you know subconsciously you have been preparing for it 
you've been maybe even wishing and hoping for it but uh, either you or someone in your family is leaving the the current circumstances or the home such that it has a huge impact on your life okay and uh, for others of you where this is not a literal move or a literal relocation or travel or journey this is um a figurative sort of journey okay in which you are stretching beyond your comfort zone as uh, cheesy as that sounds that term is so overused but yeah it's like you're stepping out of a threshold and that is what's bringing this sense of ah uh, like a huge sense of relief a uh, liberation i'm strongly feeling the sense of freedom like i can be who i want to be now and i'm so determined i know exactly what i want and i'm going to go for it you know that sort of a thing but it is coming after a period of a lot of reviewing assessing maybe letting go of things situations people that have not worked out that have been disappointing maybe you were grieving something there was some kind of a loss maybe you know there was money owed to you and uh it got stuck somewhere or whatever now it's it's coming it's happening and so there's a restoration of balance in terms of your financial security as well and you're excited now for the future so that's a huge blessing which has an impact on your your future your um even your calling i would say okay because i am sensing that for many of you you have been afraid to perhaps pursue what you really wanted to but now you're breaking free from that barrier okay you're breaking that barrier you're tearing those walls down you're no longer uh you know feeling like i can fit into this box and you're stretching yourself okay stretching beyond also perhaps um you know perhaps the limitations that this circumstance or people had put on you maybe family okay and this is bringing in a whole new perspective on life and this this answers i feel are very tangible so it could be an opportunity that comes your way it could be that you know you receive the money that was owed to you and whatever it is there's some important communication coming through which gives you the green light it's like a sudden shift and this is something that you have also been envisioning i feel you know it's propelling you forward towards your dream life okay and with penelope dream we were also above the chariot card i am feeling that you you're going to feel really really inspired okay um to follow your dreams okay quite literally to take action on your dreams and to charge forward there's this huge sense of liberation like i said here okay and in this card here with the chariot uh what she's sitting on that um, that little buggy or this uh chariot seat it has this red curtain which i'm feeling very drawn to okay and red is the color of passion of determination again will power and very much associated with our root chakra there's a huge change happening in terms of your living situation or your foundation in life which has uh, a huge impact on perhaps certain relationships as well some of them might fall off but there are others that are strengthening as a result of that and if you have been calling in you know your soul family you've been waiting to be united with people who you actually have this kinship with who you have a lot in common with and that is also what's coming into your life okay so these are huge blessings i'm really really happy for you and judgment is just one step away from the finishing of a cycle okay it's uh, also related to the past and karma i feel like there's a huge karmic cycle that is ending in your life and you know you're coming full circle in a way and cutting away from 
something that was from a box I would say it's like you're breaking free from a box from a mold and you're ready to charge forward okay so it could literally be travel movement relocation but for others of you this is some opportunity which could be a job or something like that and uh, you're you're being called to act on it okay you're being called to act on it to uh, charge forward and to have the confidence that you can do this and you can okay that's the reminder here to move past your comfort zone and into the unknown wow this is beautiful i am wishing you all the best group number three maybe you're not expecting this it feels quite uh, like not i feel like deep down you know okay but it's it's coming sort of out of the blue is what i'm sensing okay it's a bit like it's quick is what i'm getting it's a, a bit unexpected in that way so i'm wishing you all the very best let me know how this resonates with you and if you enjoyed the reading do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you again later bye bye